Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the dark side of Seeds Go and what not a lot of people here on YouTube are actually willing to talk about. So let's dive right into the video and roll the intro. My name is Luke and First of all, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch my content today. It's, it's really appreciated. Every one of those subscribers that came over from last video, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're new to this channel, think about maybe hitting the like button, smashing the subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video, which by the way is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So what is the dark side of CSGO? While I definitely would say the dark side of CSGO is the lower ranks and getting from level here to skill level here, I think this sweet spot in there is the dark side. So what I mean by, it, by this is I don't care how we get from silver to global. This is not what this video is about. It's not about road to global, how to get out of silver, whatever series. In this series, I want to take a look at how long does it actually take to go from skill level basic CSGO player to an above average skill level? So let's define these two skill levels a little bit. The skill level right here, I would say, is an average CSGO player. Probably around the rank, if you would have to put a rank on it, matchmaking, end of gold mover, maybe master guardian. If you had to put in face it, uh, let's put it into face it level 3 or 4. It's about the same. And then how long does it take to get to up here? Which I guess you could say is a global elite or just an above average player. Maybe face a level 7, 8. Maybe we can bring it up to 10. Who knows? But I want to take a look at not how we get there, but how long does it actually take to get up there. There's a lot of great YouTubers out there that make videos how to get there, what you can practice, and whatnot. But they don't necessarily say how long does it take. I couldn't find any videos that say do this for an hour every day, and then if you do that for a week, you'll be there. And I know that it's kind of hard, everyone is different, and um, you gotta put in the time. So this video series will be focusing on how long will it take us to increase our skill. And now this is go, it's a team-based game, so it's kind of hard to measure it in ranks, anything. So we'll just kind of compare. Every week, every Monday, I will announce it on my Twitter or my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you will find a link right there. Maybe right there. This is really confusing with the camera. Or a link in the description below. Make sure you hit a follow. Every Monday, I will be picking one thing to improve on during the week. I will be picking one technique that I will be working on for a whole week and see what actually changes, if it was helpful or not. Um, I have a couple of starting points for that, but if you know of anything that you practice, maybe, let me, down, uh, let me know down in the comments below, and maybe I will pick it up. As you can see, the footage in the background is actually my first attempt that I tried just today and, uh, and yesterday, which is to go on some community maps and just free for all and practice. This was I think a headshot only at first and then I switched to you can just overall free for all 128 tick. But what I will be implementing for the rest of this week and for all of next week will be community maps, free, uh, free for all, headshot only for 30 minutes a day. And we'll see how that actually makes me a better player. Will it help me? flick two targets better? Will it help me maybe just start at the head and then work my way down? Because I struggle a lot. I struggle a lot. To give you a little bit of background about myself, I have been playing CSGO for quite a while. I've been playing CSGO for I think three years now and I'm not improving at all. Nada, nothing, not improving. Which is kind of frustrating. My spray pattern, don't know him. Headshot, not working. Awareness, yeah, it's kind of it. patience. Oh my God, don't get me started on that. I'm not patient at all. So those are the things I'll be working on. So maybe one week I'll be working on my pre-aims. 
one week I'll be working on my headshots, one week I'll be working on spray patterns, and I'm hoping that when I incorporate all these things, I'll be able to see how long I would have to practice them for to actually develop muscle memory and become on the next skill level. So let's sum this up, how will this series be about? I think it's pretty confusing. Um, I'm hoping I made it somewhat clear, but let me sum it up really quick. So on Monday, I will be making a poll on Twitter. Every, no, actually on Sunday night, I will be making the poll on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, with like different things, what you guys want me to focus on for that week. Then on Monday, I will be starting to implement these things for about 30 minutes, an hour at a time, every day. On Tuesday, I'll be making a video about that actual uh, practice. I will be showing you how I incorporate it, how I practice it. Then I will be keep practicing. I'll be streaming Monday, I'll be streaming Wednesday and Friday. On Thursday, we will do a highlight video. I will be uploading the latest stream highlights. If you want to see me play live and just laugh with me at my mistakes, at my impatience, whatever, um, go to mixer.com slash germanluke. You will find me there. And then on Friday, like I said, is stream. And then Saturday, I will be uploading my result. So I will be telling you, okay, I incorporated this. This is what I learned. This is a before and after. And then on Sunday, we'll do another poll and we'll figure out what we'll do next week. And then we'll just see and keep this going until I run out of ideas to improve on or until we reach that next skill level. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you stayed all the way until the till the end, hit that like button. It would really help me out. It helps out the YouTube algorithm, helps out the channel. And you guys have a wonderful day. Hello.